when they signed Jack Campbell, it was like, okay, Stuart Skinner's going to be able to just be a 1B, a backup for a couple of seasons and grow into his role as a starter. We know that's not the case. Stuart Skinner was given the number one role last year. He's back to being the guy this season. But of course, with Campbell down in the minors, the Oilers obviously expected to be active on the trade front. Carter, when you look at Skinner in Edmonton and what they could look to add to that crease, do they need to go find like a 1A guy that can truly split the time with Stuart Skinner? Or do you think he's a guy capable of playing, you know, 50 to 55 games in a year and they just need a quality backup? Which of those two options do you think is better for the Oilers? I think the option is uh, find a guy that's serviceable that can protect him, right? I just find with Stewart, even last year, I found he got burnt out a little bit down the stretch because of Jack's. He was just every time Jack got in, it was you never knew what you're getting, right? Where I found the same combo when I was with Linus. The plan was for me to play 50 games, then to split, then to go down to like 30, just to kind of get him ready to go. Where all of a sudden, Stewart Skinner right away is thrown into this market where they are trying to win right now, and all of a sudden, he is the guy. So I think. Better late than never with Edmonton trying to find a goalie because my concern is his sustainability playing every single night as we get down to the stretch. And, and you know the way that they're winning hockey games right now and they've been playing well. Can he continue doing that down the stretch if he's got to play, you know, nine out of ten games? What's up, hockey fans? If you enjoyed that video, then you need to be hitting the subscribe button right here at Daily Faceoff. Exclusive interviews and analysis from our hockey insider, Frank Saravalli, fantasy updates from Brock Sagan, and a daily live show at noon Eastern, Monday through Friday. You don't want to miss any of the fantastic content, so hit that subscribe button.